we are here uh, in order for us to talk about Palestine in a different way. This book is a first attempt at inspiring a new type of conversation on Palestine, one that unifies the Palestinian, engaged Palestinian intellectuals uh, without having the factional divide, without the uh, politics, without the uh, self-serving ideologies. Rather, it is an attempt at showing that Palestinians can be unified in aspiring for a different discourse on Palestine and Palestinian liberation. The Palestinian fight is essentially a fight against colonialism and imperialism, and we are here to redefine the discourse around these new principles. I hope uh, you will look at this collection and, like us, be moved, inspired, and empowered by this, uh, these tales of uh, sacrifice, steadfastness, and contribution that, at least in my case, convinced me that far from being that the struggle for Palestine being a lost case, it is a, a cause and a struggle that I'm confident one day will succeed uh, to end uh, more than a century of colonization occupation and oppression. It's very honoured to be one of, I think, only three contributors who is not Palestinian. PhD has written a chapter and we're here to celebrate it and I'm here to tell a little bit about the project. It's a story of the land of Palestine and the people of Palestine, those that have been in the land, what they left behind, and a bit about the future and what's happening today and it's in cross stitch, which is a traditional stitch of Palestinian women. It's a book that, that talks about the history of, of people's experiences and their lives. The actual project tells the history. The, the project is divided into three sections. It's, there's a bit of history, and there's a little bit of oppression, and there's a little bit of Samud. Through this tapestry, you know, writing one story together, despite these borders, despite the fragmentation, despite the displacement, um, we're all piecing together, weaving together, one embroidery panel at a time, as you can see here, the story of Palestine, and it will continue to grow. The actual production process of the book was about two years, but in fact the discussion started long before that. We have been talking about uh, a new uh, decolonized discourse on Palestine. Now the question is, where do we find those engaged Palestinians per the Gramscian principle on who is an organic intellectual? We were looking for people who are not just capable of articulating a certain point of view about Palestine, but also people who have lived that experience, people who have contributed in a tangible way and who have paid a price for that as well. Although we thought it was going to be a challenge, actually it wasn't, because there are numerous engaged Palestinian intellectuals. We just don't hear about them because they do not serve any particular political interest of the political actors involved in all of this. Who knew about Muna Kurd before and Muhammad Kurd, the brother and sister who have been leading the popular resistance in Sheikh Jarrah. Some of them are in prison and we talk to people like Khaled Jarrah who was in prison during the production of the book. Some of them were deported and not allowed to go back to Palestine. Some of them were in refugee camps. Some of them came from Chile, from Australia, from Canada and many other parts of the world. And it was so beautiful to see that in a sense, even though many of them did not know each other, they were in a sense contributing to the exact same discourse. And that, in my view, is the real unity of Palestine and the Palestinians that matters.